What is going on, everybody? Jumbo Thick here, back with more Detroit Become Human. We are picking up right where we left off in the last episode. Uh, fugitives. <laughs> so, we managed to hide out in a car. So, let's see what, hopefully, what Marcus is up to if he didn't get his head blown off. Or maybe he did. Yep, he did. The hole in the back of his head, side of his head, and I'm missing an eye. Okay. <laughs> Holy crap. Is this the uh, Android graveyard? Yep. Any other damage? Bullet wound? What else you got? Leg, maybe? Yeah, I'm missing a foot. Awesome. God bless. <laughs> oh crap, Marcus. I'm sorry, dude. Oh no. Is he going to get even? There's a leg. I need two legs. Damn it. <laughs> God. There we go. God, he's going to look weird. His ears all fucked up right now. <laughs> That's why we can't hear anything. Compatible. Thing maybe. Hey. Ah. All right, we got two legs. Stop. Oh, this is creepy. No. Oh. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho. Find Jericho. <laughs> oh, it's like something out of hell, like the Divine Comedy. Some Dante's Inferno. Where are you going? Away from you. Jeez. There's 
somebody else won. Some other ones just wandering around. He don't have a head. We gonna check him or what? his eye. Hello. I'm oh. an AK-700 android. I was designed to serve you. What can I do for you? My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact me near the satellite mission center. Now we need a pump. We can actually, you know, look now. Hey, I'm talking about be able to hear in a second. Huh? He just had it in his hand. Hey, all right. I got a feeling we need to get this in quick. <laughs> oh. Condition stabilized. You look like shit, Marcus. <laughs> you look like hammered shit. Because now we can get out of here. Marcus, you got this, man. Holy crap. Crawled his way out of that.
That's why he's got two different colored eyes now. Hmm. So now you don't look like an android? Okay. That was an ominous at all. What? There's actually different. That seemed really straightforward to me. And look, there's actually different things you could have done. Man. Okay. And look, there's a there's different optical units we could have gotten a hold of. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, who who the hell's Amanda? Why are we in like a like a Japanese like sand garden? <laughs> that's maybe maybe that's Amanda over there? I don't know. It's very odd. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. Huh. And they teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? Hmm. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. Yeah. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. What do you make of him? Uh... We'll say it's unsure. obviously not what I was expecting, but I don't have enough information yet to form a definitive opinion. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Adapt. I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. Hmm. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Hmm. Well, that explains a lot. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. That's why he's so good at what he does.
ready because we're just talking to. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Hmm. Tensions in the Arctic have reached a new level, with a Russian carrier and an American yeah. patrol boat reported to have clashed last night. Uh oh, me some water, several warning shots. Cold War all over again. in the region, particularly Sweden and Canada, have called for military forces to withdraw and an international conference to be held. So far, there has been no response from either of this? Something I can't look at. Obviously, knew that wasn't going to be Anderson. Probably his desk. Figured as much. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. <laughs> if we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. See what he listens to. <laughs> Heavy metal. Crap. Donuts. Of course. Coffee. Some kind of withered <laughs> plant that he doesn't take care of. A dog. Hmm. Okay. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hank! In my office. That's the, the guy that died? Carl? Hell yeah, it was Carl. He's dead. Problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? 
I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. But I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, mm. and certainly not this plastic prick! Oh, damn. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off! <laughs> you are a police lieutenant! Uh. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth! You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. Oh, no. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel! This conversation <laughs> is over! <laughs> Uh, Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Damn it, man. Oof. Tough break, detective. I wonder whether Lieutenant Anderson is really the best person for this investigation. Hey, yeah. I don't need a machine to tell me how to handle my men, okay? So get the fuck out of my office. Uh, Have a nice day, Captain. Yeah, we should go. That wasn't very tactful. If I would have known he would have said that, I would have just left. <laughs> Uh, pragmatic. Listen, I know you don't like me, but we're going to have to work together. We'll both have to make an effort. Keep it positive. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. Uh, no, sure we'll that was a bad move. Team. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Mm. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Or the uh with the blank name. <laughs> hey, I hate don't want to be my partner, that's for damn sure. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. Hmm. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. <laughs> I call him Sumo. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. <laughs> oh. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. Do it's you? full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well... I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. Hmm. Um. Who the hell's Fowler? A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? <laughs> One. Take a look at these samples yet. Okay, then we're back to neutral. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? You really need the forensics. Yeah, too long. Hmm. If you Let's have any files working. on deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. Uh, 
missing. Dogs are front chain. Okay. What's this? Sex android. Two hundred and forty-three files. Holy crap! First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX four hundred is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. <laughs> Direct. You shouldn't let your personal situation hamper the investigation, Lieutenant. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. So why don't you just run your program and shut the fuck up? Determined. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Ooh. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. <laughs> but things are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant, I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. He definitely doesn't like me. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how to talk to him as Connor. Okay. Uh, I guess Hank get mad no matter what you say to him. Is what that looks like. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Wonder where Car is gonna pick up at. wake up in that abandoned car nothing to eat I've got a toy though <laughs> cut my hair Not leave her alone. All right. Death androids, that's Probably not a good thing. What's this? More crap, I'm sure. Cyber cyber wildlife? What the hell? They have fake uh, animals as well. I mean, why not? Canada is Android free. Interesting. Scissors. There we go. Her hair isn't going to grow back. I wouldn't think. It. Well, maybe it does. I don't know.
Let's make it blonde. Way different from what you had before. Yeah. Oh, she's gonna take it out? Get her out of here. No, it wasn't a nightmare. Unfortunately. How do you feel? I'm cold. What are we gonna do now? That android we saw yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. The train passes just on the other side of the road. The station can't be far. You feel okay to walk a little? Let's go then. All right. This is not going to end well. This whole taking the little girl thing is it's it's not going to end well. Like that. I can tell. <laughs> you really look like a human now. That's the idea. We go this way? No. I want to walk in front of him. I guess we got no choice, though. He's still there. The police are on our trail. All right. That's all for now. Ready to go. Hmm. We've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well, let me know if they turn anything up. The clerk's gonna say that somebody tried to steal a candy that? bar. I have no idea. Shit. It took the first bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line. Its decision wasn't planned, it was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear, deviants do. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. Shit, he's too good. Maybe. I don't want her to be found. How are we gonna get? How are we? Connor's a fucking ridiculously good investigator.
things there. God, this is so intense. <laughs> I know, I just know we're gonna get caught. Oh. Is there another crossing? It won't get far. We'll find it sooner or later. Uh, or go. later. Oh, did we make it? Whew, man, that was definitely intense. <laughs> I tell you what, this game is definitely uh, man. It's got an awesome story so Are you far. Okay? I love the branching paths. Whew. She's gonna need to eat soon. Holy shit. Dude, that, do you see how much different that could have went down? So that's all from just the parking lot. That's how we got out of there. So you can accidentally not sneak past the police, of course, like I thought. The other two paths kind of connect a little bit better. The house and the... Uh, like, oh, that's if you get caught, then you can run. Ah, okay, okay. I think I think I got this. Well, anyways, guys, that's pretty much a good place to stop for this episode. Unfortunately, I've run out of time yet again. Man, I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. This has been a fantastic game so far. Really good stories. As you, um, very much to do with the human condition, um, as I thought it probably would. And, man, it's just, it's so good so far. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. I hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough. And, as always, I have been Jumbo Thick. And thank you very much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you guys all again very soon. Have a good day.